Marching to Lützerath, a small village that has become a symbol for the fight against global warming. More protesters than both activists and police had expected came to the remote site of one of Germany's largest lignite or brown coal mines in the country's most industrialized region. We're here because we know it isn't over yet with the eviction. It's a global fight. We have to build policies that are sustainable, so we keep going. Lützerath is being demolished after a camp of hundreds of climate activists had been evicted in the past few days. You are showing clearly today that the changes will not come from the people in power, from governments, from corporations, from the so-called leaders. No, the real leaders are here. It is the people who are sitting in tree houses and those who have been defending Lissorat, for example, for years now. Shame on the energy company RWE and on the German government. That were the words of Greta Thunberg, who traveled from Sweden to this muddy field near the village of Lützerath, the village that has been evicted by police in the last couple of days to make way for this brown coal mine, which is very near to... More than 1,500 police from around the country were sent to Lützerath to prevent it from being occupied by activists again. Several were injured during these clashes. Police also used water cannons and horses to keep protesters away. While the activists have lost Lützerath as an international climate protest site, they say they will continue to rally against the expansion of the Gasweiler mine. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, near Lützerath.